Oh. How are you guys doing today, man? It is arms. And actually, it was supposed to be yesterday. But I did not come to the gym. Sadly enough. You know, actually, it was quite funny. You see, so I was in school from around 8 till 2 p.m. And then after I ate my packed breakfast, like my packed brunch, basically, well, there was a lady who came to talk to me and she ended up like talking to me for a very long time, you know? Which is totally fine. It was a, it was an intriguing conversation, you know, more like a psychological one. So just following up with my well-being and all that, you know, kind of like motherly things. And um, basically, time passed. It was like 4 p.m. And then I had to go see a teacher who wanted to see me. They wanted to see me at 1 p.m., but it ended up being 4 p.m. But Gratefully, he was still like willing to see me, so basically I was done there like around 5.30 and then I got to the gym at 6. But I really wanted to take a shit, I really wanted to take a dump, like my st <laughs> I was bloated as heck, man. I wanted to release all the gas in the world. I was gonna feed the trees, bro. I was going to feed the- dude, I should get a Nobel Peace Prize for how much I fed the trees yesterday. I was so bloated and I was so like felt like really taking a dump. So I couldn't I couldn't come. I just went straight home and just murdered, peeled off the paint of all the walls, bro. All of them. And gave the cheese a nice good feast. You know, which is quite quite the ecological thing. You see, I care about the environment. Can't cover about that. So enough with all the uh gassy talk. <laughs> We're gonna hit some. Oh, oh, sorry. We're gonna hit some triceps, some tries and some bites. So I'm gonna start with some underhand pushdowns. I've never really done underhand pushdowns for a while. Okay, I've done them, but not for a while. So I'm gonna do these single hand, and I'm gonna drop set on each hand, and then we're gonna do that, and then probably gonna do some French pressing while standing up just because all well the benches are taken so we'll do some french pressing while we're standing up or we can lean against something honestly it's all about being creative at the gym so we can do some french pressing and then we can finish off with some straight bar standard tricep push downs i know i should do some dips but I feel like I'm gonna leave the dips till I'm a bit stronger. Yeah. So that I can just do them more controlled, you know? Like I don't I don't wanna swing forward unintentionally and you know activate my chest more than my triceps. Or activate my chest at all. Because you know it's supposed my chest is supposed to be sort of resting, you know, recovering from the intense chest day we just had like two days ago or something. So yeah, I'm gonna let's let's throw these around for like three sets and then we'll decide from there. Gotta turn on the timer just so that I don't exceed my resting period. Oh. Hmm. That is intense. Let's get into the next one. Thank <laughs> you. 
or something. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. The pump, the pump can be quite addicting. The gym itself can be quite addicting because there's a certain like dopamine. It's not like a dope. It's not like dopamine, but there's something like a feel-good hormone, you know. Which I know is like kind of like dopamine, but it's not like oh, like yeah, it's painful. It's not really painful, but like it's 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 tiring. But there's something where it makes you feel like pumped, like excited inside, like like you're getting work. Like anyway, it's something. It's something, bro. But as I said, I feel like all gym bros, especially those who come every day and enjoy the experience, we all just have a just a tiny screw is loose, you know. A tiny screw is loose. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely. You know, like oh, it's Christmas. It's Christmas, but I'm gonna hit chest. <laughs> or even more, it's definitely like, oh, it's Christmas and I'm gonna hit legs. That's even worse, you know? Truly psycho, you know? But it's a wonderful community if you ever wish to join us. Two minutes are up. Time for the next set. Yeah, man. Okay, the pumps are kind of equal, but my left arm is burning a little bit more. It's pumping a little bit more. But it's nice and evenly balanced, kind of. Because also my right hand is really feeling it. Two minutes are done. Let's get into the last set. Okay, so those are three sets done. Let's do some French pressing. Yeah, some French pressing will be good, and then we come back for some straight, super strength push down. Okay, so the idea for this one is we're gonna do some French pressing while standing up, and then of course I'm not gonna be able to take this truly till failure. Unless I did them on the Smith. Actually, I tried to do some French pressing on the Smith, but I feel like, well, you know, one of the limitations of the Smith is that, you know, you can't really 
move the bar the way you want to move it, you know, like it's kind of like locked in a specific like sort of position. So I didn't really like that. So I'm just going to do them with the easy bar, take it as far as I can. Of course, I, if I took it too, too far, then that means I wouldn't be able to lift it and I'll just drop it down. And well, I don't want to do that because that is not quite a good gym etiquette. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna burn out with some push downs with this shape bar. Yeah. That sounds insane. But let's get started. Oh, that is good. That is insane. But I'm not gonna lie, we I think some skull crushes would have given me more of a pump. But let's just go with what we have. Or what we're already doing. It's still giving me a nice good pump. But those underhand pushdowns with some drop sets, now that was insane. That was that was an insane pump. Okay, let's do two more of those. Oh, yeah. My front delt started to feel that a bit too much, but let's get into the last set, I believe, for the French pressing.
Uh, they are insanely tight. My choice, that is. I can't even like fully bring in my el my my arms inside, like my elbows. Kind of like the same way you can't touch your shoulders with your bias. With the choice, you can't really like bring in your you know. You can't really bring in your like if you try to touch the the like ends of your thumbs like your thumbs with your like you make a fist and then you try to th touch with your thumbs your shoulders you know maybe like yeah your shoulders like this part it's impossible bro because that's just how tight the triceps are cool but normally i could do it so i think yeah, and we're not even done. We still have like about three more to go. So I'm going to increase the weight on the... Because now I'm not going to be burning out. I'm going to be doing it as an actual workout. So I'm going to increase the weight. And you know, we can just drop set each set as you go for the next three sets. Um, but those that French press kind of like messed with my wrist a bit, and my elbow, my elbow got like a little bit of pressure, just aching a little bit. I think it's best to do these when you're sitting when you're sitting down, rather than when you're standing up. I just got a little bit lighter when you're standing up. Oh, okay, two minutes are done. Well, that was, that was very quick, but. <laughs> Let's get it to the next set. are done let's get it to the second last set i'm getting tempted to add the weight just a bit more but i feel like the number of reps i'm gonna do is just gonna get shot down by a lot so let's just Is this normal like when you're doing your push downs your shoulders are really getting your front delts in specific are really getting worked as well like towards the end of the sets so, like when I was starting out it wasn't really I think maybe that's because I was doing them underhand but when I'm doing them overhand I think I'm maybe my form is wrong or something you know but my front delts are really getting on track, like burned as I'm doing my set. But I'm doing them, if I do them underhand, there's not really any like, well, not, not as much. But let's get into the last set. Okay, two minutes are done. Let's get into the next or the last set for the tries.
that I cannot do anymore. Ooh. You know what's funny is that I thought to drop set the drop set, you know? I got the idea. I think, you know, maybe I should go for another drop set. I've already drop set. But see, that's overcooking. That's overcooking things, bro. Okay. As you can see, I don't know if you guys can see it, but is it visible? Like 10, 10 laps. 10 laps equals 10 sets. Completed. Whew. So I love this thing, man. I love this timer, this stopwatch thing. But let's get into some buys. Some buy support. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe. Well, let's just let's just we'll figure it out. Okay, so I'm going to try something I've never really tried before, which is like sort of Bayesian curls. You know Bayesian curls, which work the long head, kind of like the same thing you do when you're doing an incline curl. So basically, I'm going to do a Bayesian curl on the seated cable row machine, but I'm going to use some D-handles on the two cables. And then, you know, I'm just going to lean forward. Of course, I'm going to, my arms are going to be like weighted behind. And then I'm going to curl up. And then I'm going to leave one arm like in the curled position and then i'm gonna curl the other one leave that one in the curled position curl this one you know what i mean kind of like an alternating dumbbell curl but in like a bayesian type <laughs> and also not like you know like the, when you're doing alternating dumbbell curls like one arm is resting while the other one is curling and then this one is resting while this one is curling but this one none will be resting because while this one is curling this one will be in a curled position already. So it will be kind of like under tension, I would say. I don't know if I'm overcooking it or whether, but you know, that's what the gym is for, you know, to experiment and see, you know, what you like, what gives you that nice pump, that juicy contraction, you know? So I'm gonna try these. If I don't like them, I'll move on to something else. I mean, we have a lot of sets to play with. So let's do like the first three and see how it is from there i think i'm also gonna drop set as i go yeah i'll probably drop set as i go or maybe instead of drop setting no yeah i'll drop set as i go but when i drop set instead of like doing alternating i'm just gonna both at the same time but right, let's get started so let me put on the timer That is something. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, that is insane. I think I cooked just at the right temperature. <laughs> I've got a cap. That is good. Oh. I think I might just take these for the full six sets, and then finish off with four sets of some crossbody hammocks. Oh. 
I'm not gonna lie, it feels different from the dumbbells, especially from the incline curls. It does feel very different, even in terms of like the contraction. But all in all, it's a wonderful contraction. Okay, two minutes are up. Let's get into, I'm just gonna do one more here. And then I'm probably gonna move on to some dumbbells. And probably some drag curls as well. Honestly, the dumbbell and the drag curl combination, that I do have to say is my favorite. Nothing has beat beaten a pump like that one. That that pump was absurd. Absurd, I tell you. Okay. Let's move on to dumbbell X drag curls for another three sets. Mm, I was thinking of whether I should do some feature curls instead for that nice long head activation. Not long head. Oh, short head, I mean. But either way, because the bench, the benches were taken and they just got freed up right now. But I've already set up the jack curl and everything and the dumbbells. We'll do that next time. So, we're going to do some... What are we going to do? We're going to do some alternating dumbbell curls and burn out with some jack curls. Just the same as last time. Because last time that was insane. Ah, it felt insane. But just because it felt insane, it was equally intense. Very intense. But it's just three sets. Let's do this for three sets. It will be over before we know it, you know? Oh, 
Yeah. Oh, that is something. I think I'm gonna increase the weight for the for the jackals. But that was good. Really good. Two minutes up. Good in the Something. One more set. Cool. Okay, let's get into the last set. Two minutes are done. Boy, my arms are so tight now. My bias to be exact. Burn is nasty dog. Cool, let's let's call it there. Not for the bites, but like for the curls. Let's let's move on to some hammer curls. For like the whole for like four more sets. Ooh. Two minutes are up. Oh, let's get it easy. I think I'm just gonna use the same weight for the hammer curls. Like the same way I was using on the alternating dumbbell curls. I think I'm just going to keep them for the hammer curls as well. I don't normally do that. I usually go just a bit lighter. Because you know my arms when I do the hammer curls are just a bit more fatigued. Because they've just been beaten down for like 6-7 sets. But let's just go with the same. I'm feeling a bit freaky tonight. Oh. I don't know, it feels like when I do the hammer curls, the cross body hammer curls, alternating, like I feel like this, my left arm is stronger than my right arm when I'm doing them. It's kind of weird because I'm right handed. 
So it looks like the opposite, but I mean things do happen. Things are the way they are. But they're rel relatively like around equal. So, not really sure the mechanics behind it, but it just keep going. Okay. I just realized I could have done a drop set, but I forgot to do the drop set. I forgot to do a drop set. So for the next set, the next three sets that are remaining, we're going to drop set each set. I will not forget. I will not forget. I'll place the dumbbells in front of me so that I don't forget. <laughs> well, two minutes are almost up, so wow. You'll just see me getting into the set as I wait for this last few seconds to run out. Ooh. Ah, actually, well, we ran out, so I guess they ran out while I was talking. I expected a bit longer. It was like a whole 20 seconds. <laughs> but whatever. Let's get into it. I just wish it was possible to do the cross body hammer curls both arms at the same time because it's it's really hard to burn out with unilateral movements you know like oh where you're alternating and stuff it is really hard because now as you're going even if it's like a second or two seconds one arm is resting while the other one is so it like kind of gives you like a bit more energy to keep on going especially with a lighter weight which you use when you drop set. So it's quite annoying. You can't really go till further. You just go till, I don't know, man. Until you're just tired of doing it. Until your forearms or something else burn out instead of your biceps. So I think I'll try doing, I'll try doing them both at the same time to see how it is. If that is not possible, then I'll just, I'll just burn out with some standard normal hammer curls rather than cross-body hammer curls. Okay. I think I've just tried, I've, I've tried them out. Maybe, ow, I just almost bit my lip. Like I bit it, but not that deep, you know? Could have been worse. But anyway, I'll take them as close, as cross-body as I can, as close as I can. Because it's not really cross-body, because you're supposed to like, touch the other side of your chest or your shoulder or anything. So, but like, I take them as close as I can. Without them bashing into each other, of course. Oh, but I can't touch my shoulders, which is a wonderful sign that we have sufficiently worked, or over sufficiently worked the biceps. <laughs> but 10 more seconds to two minutes, it's probably gonna be done as I say that. And I will, yes, it's done. Like that, so. Let's just get into the set. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's do one more set. Whew. Okay, let's get into the last set. Two minutes of a bit away part done. It's like almost, yes, yeah, like three minutes now. Whatever. Huh. Oh. Oh, that's all it there, man. Oh, oh. oh that is intense. Okay. Let me put this back real quick. Ooh. That was good. I think. Oh man, that was. Did you guys like to listen to metal music? I really suggest check out some Aether Realm, especially the Tyrant album. That thing just bangs, bro. But that was good. That was insane. Ooh, I don't even. I can't touch my shoulders, even if I wanted to, man. Even if I try and force it, this like normally when I try and force it, I can try, I can touch them, but even if I try to force it, I can't touch them, which is insane. Let's see. Okay. Let us check. Let, let's let's see the what's going on in the arms. Is it? I can't really see from here, but like, because there's no window, but you can assume that they're pretty freaking bumps, you know? Okay. Maybe the back one? But. Oh, hold on, hold on. But I'm still too, I'm still too underdeveloped for such poses, you know? Give me five years, bro. Give me like five years. Trust me. When I'm doing these, when I'm doing these poses, you're going to be seeing veins popping up, like some actual, like, you see the muscle like fibers and everything properly and all that just give me a, give me a couple of years man give me a couple of years let me develop let me cook but for now well though that is how much six not six months hold on from last year september till now that's the amount of progress i think we're on like day 60 something so like 60 67 I think 67 67 or 68 yeah I think today's day 68 68 days of lifting 68 days straight of lifting that is the progress we have made and I have to say it's pretty good it's pretty freaking good I am quite satisfied I don't think we're lagging behind in any sort of way because even my traps have become a lot more developed when they were before. Granted, I used to do a lot of trap, sh like shrugs, dumbbell shrugs. And even when you're doing your lateral raises and everything, 
or your barber rose, you know, your lats, are still, your, your, your traps are still getting hit. But I wanna, what I want to really develop is my lats, because my lats are like non-existent, like there's just nothing there. So I really wanna de develop those, you know, get, get my wings. Maybe I should drink some Red Bull and grow some wings. But anyway, see you guys tomorrow for legs. A very painful day. Actually, because tomorrow is gonna be legs, like in brackets one. So it's gonna be like the first sequence, the first sequence in the whole like course. I'm gonna hit some squats, like a good amount of squats, probably some bu some bubble back squats, and then leave like the rest of it. Just the, the majority is gonna be some back squats and then some leg extensions, and then in brackets two, the second sequence, stuff that is less taxing on the body. So it's gonna be mostly leg extensions and maybe some lunges or just leg extensions for the whole 10 sets but either way man i do know today is the start of i believe it's ramadan i think it was today or yesterday i'm not muslim but like to all the muslim people out there any who are watching hope you guys have a wonderful start to your ramadan you know and have a wonderful you know Time. Yeah, so I'm kind of gassed. Dude, my brain is like kind of like on battery saving mode right now. So, I mean, that's what happens when you when you push the fire for 20 sets straight. Honestly, I'm kind of psycho. I'm not gonna lie, though, but it's like a good it's like a good cycle. Cycle that will re result in a good amount of gains. So I'm gonna go and I need to go do some some homework because. I am I I am kind of lagging behind. So yeah, see you guys tomorrow for legs. Have a wonderful day.